Now let's cover functions. So function is really cool. You can, like we talked about with the mouse movement or the mouse click, you know, basically you can take some code, put it into a, a house or a box, and then you can call that box later on anywhere in your code and have it do a whole bunch of stuff for you, make it look a lot cleaner. So we define a function by using a uh, func. And let's call this uh, mouse click random. Now you can call this whatever you want. I'm gonna put the quotes. Now it takes us in. Uh, the way I like to do my functions is I press two enters, press shift tab, and then do end func. So now it's clean and I'm not gonna run any problems. End func is what you put at the end of a function. So let's go back to our mouse click. We're gonna do mouse click. Let's change it to mouse move. And then we're gonna go real quick, uh, random, I'm gonna do x minus offset x, and then I'm gonna copy this, change that to a plus, and then we're gonna do a parentheses, comma, random, paste it again, replace this x with a y, replace this x with a y, comma, and we're gonna do the same thing here, y, but we're gonna change that minus to a plus, this last one to a y, close, close. So now it'll work, but two things. I just pressed the F5 button and nothing's happening. That's because I didn't call this function yet. So you can call a function, let's just go to the top here and we'll just do mouse, click, random, and watch it not work. So the reason why it's not working is because I didn't give it any variables, any values. It doesn't know what X offset is. It's never been declared. I can do a couple things. You know, I could put uh, those values up here so we can go X equals, like last time, 918, you know, Y equals 30, or sorry, Y equals 448. You know, I mean, it'll work. Let's actually, let me get those offsets for you guys too. To 300. If you type control D, it'll duplicate the line that you're on. We go Y, now uh, look at that, it moved it, real cool. But when I was talking about the mouse click thing, I was telling you guys we could make this cleaner. So a really nice feature of functions is you can pass arguments through them. The best way to explain that is to show you. So where it says mouse click random, you see these parentheses? We're gonna click on it and we're gonna start putting stuff in there. So we're gonna go X, comma, y, comma, offset x, comma, offset y. And now, every time we call this function, we have to include these values, but it makes it a lot cleaner. If I try to run it right now without the values, watch it not work. It says, hey, you know, you didn't put the parameters in. There's nothing in here. I don't know what the hell's going on. So what you can do is we can just copy these numbers and we got y, and we gotta go that and one more. Make sure you enter these in the right order too, because the way it's set up is it's gonna be the X coordinate, then the Y coordinate, then the X aux offset, and then the Y offset. You wanna make sure you have it in the right order. But now let's go ahead and delete that completely. And if I run it, working perfectly. Now I used this function to do something really handy, and we're gonna cover that in the next video.